Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's. We're going to talk today about coverage answer groups. Now, the difference between coverage answer groups and hunt groups are a few things. One, a hunt group can't ring phones simultaneously, where a coverage answer group can. Um, coverage answer groups are also limited to the number of how many extensions you put in its group due to the fact that it takes a bit of resources to ring a lot of phones at the same time. So uh, just, just take that in mind when you're creating these. And coverage answer groups can only be accessed through coverage paths. So in my prior video or my video before this, what I was doing coverage paths, uh, you saw that I had some points in there that I could select C and then the number, right? So let's go through the process of creating a coverage answer group. But first, here's the coverage path we're going to be working with, coverage path 13. And as you can see, <clears throat> after one call on the station, it's going to route to... Uh, extension 1000 ring once there and then ring to 1020 there all right so we're going to add a coverage answer group uh add coverage answer you could say next or on my case we're doing 13 and we're going to call this tech support uh tier two i don't know i'm just making stuff up here <clears throat> and i'm going to put 1000 in there and i'm also going to put 1020 now understand this if you have a coverage point that's in your coverage answer group your coverage answer group is going to just be the only one that rings okay take that in mind so i'm going to actually take out 1020 and just leave 1000 in there for this exercise so you can see how it works all right if you have any questions on that drop me a line or drop me an e email or I, whatever message me <laughs> and uh, i'll i'll set you up i'll set you straight on on how all this works all right so here we go added i added my coverage group 13 now we need to go into coverage path 13 and change it or you can create a new one a new coverage path that has it and we're going to say c 13 for coverage path or for coverage answer group 13. we're going to ring this two times why not and then we're going to go two zero cover once and that's it uh display coverage answer 13. how about i spell it right 13 yeah 1000 so change cover path 13 yeah okay so <clears throat> when i call 1000 or i'm sorry when i call this station i'm going to call 1021 it's going to cover to coverage answer group 13 and then it's going to call 1020 as part of its coverage path all right so here's how we're going to do it list trace station 1013 and now i'm going to call it i'm going to call 1021 which has the coverage path of 13. It covered. Now ringing coverage path point one, which is the coverage answer group, which that phone in that group is ringing. If they don't answer, it moves to see no answer. It moves to the next group, which is now ringing the analog phone, as you can kind of hear ringing. And then once that's done, it's going to cover, and that's where it stops. It's just going to continue to ring there because that's the coverage point. That's the last coverage point that is there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up on this. <clears throat> and this is where you put a, a, a coverage point of a voicemail in that last part. All right. So let me, you, you saw that it went from coverage point one to coverage point two. Watch what happens. Uh, 13. When I put 1020 in this group. All right. It took a second to, uh, to submit for some reason. Don't know why. Display cover answer 13. You can see now it's in there. 1020. Display cover path 13. 1020. Take note of this when I call. Watch what happens. List cover answer. Oops, sorry. List trace station 1013. I'm going to call 1021. It covers cuz uh, it's a it's a uh, station without hardware. And you can hear both phones are ringing, both the analog and the other phone are ringing, okay? And it's gonna stay there. No answer, but it stays there, all right? Both phones are still ringing. Even though it's going through the coverage points, both phones are still ringing as part of that coverage answer group. That's just something to take, take note of when you're creating these things. Um, because of the fact that I have 1020 in as a point, and it's also a point in the coverage answer group. That's why it, I don't want to call it fails. It just doesn't process it because it's seen in the coverage answer group. So just take that as a note. All right. So that's coverage answer groups. Um, display cover answer 13. And that's how you set them up. Very easy. 
very simple to do. Um, just remember that it rings all the phones that you put in this coverage answer group. All right, that's it. Any comments, questions you have, drop them in the comment field or message me in YouTube or on Twitter, and I'll be happy to answer anything you guys may have. All right, this is it. I will talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.